Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mucklick Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Mucklick, and today we are back in the wonderful world, well, not so wonderful world, of Baldur's Gate 3. We are near the end, I think. I think we've got a few major boss fights remaining. I, I By my guess, there's the one I'm currently in, and then, like, I would say three more. There's the two other big ones, and I'm assuming the Illithid Brain's gonna be a boss fight. Uh, however, I'm in a fight right now, which I believe is optional, but I'm choosing to do it. And I'm so glad I did, because the lore bomb that got dropped on us yesterday was huge. Uh, however, the fight... Uh, I, I, I got to a point where I was getting basically full party wiped. So, I am reloading to right before that fight began. And uh, the fight was a... I believe it's called a Dracolic? Dracolich? It's, a, it's an undead dragon. Hmm. So we are trying to figure out how to fight this thing without just getting destroyed. One idea I had, let's see, I'm only here for a bit. My partner and I don't want any BG3 spoilers, which is really fun. With all the online media about it. This game's everything good. Yeah. I mean, that's why I didn't say what the lore bomb was. So one thing I'm going to do right now. Um, the number one source of the type of damage to, that wrecked me was electric. So, uh, I was thinking about this today. <clears throat> it's time to use some consumables. I have not been using consumables hardly at all through this playthrough. So we are going to go to, I believe, elixirs. And make resist lightning. Craft. And then do this. Uh, elixir of lightning resistance. Throw. And... I hope that hit everyone. Assume nothing. It did not hit Lazel. And it did not hit Carlock either. Oh man, why? Did it hit the bird? It did not hit the bird. It hit two of the five targets. Alright. I'm gonna reload. Cause I tested this off stream and it worked. But ah, uh, the whole I feel I feel like the throw throwing a potion at someone, throwing elixir at someone, and having to hit multiple people, that might not have been intended. Because honestly, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you have to drink this potion, but if a quarter of it splashes on your skin, then you get the same effect. It honestly doesn't make sense. Uh, however, here we are, and you know, everybody is using this, uh, this technique. So, yeah, there we go. All right, let's try let's try a top-down view and see if we can get them any closer together for this. Seek and you shall find me. Let's do that. Enough waiting. And I let's do blood. that. Uh, can we get any closer? I guess that's it. Okay. And no! You're so fat. No. Okay. I think that's as close as we can get. And inventory, alchemy, elixirs, resist lightning, open inventory. Um, wait, what? Where did it go? Light. What? Did I make it? Elixir of lightning resistance. Elixir of light. Okay, it's saying I don't have it. I swear I just made it. Okay. Elixir of light. There we go. Okay, and throw. And that time it didn't hit Gale. I don't know why. Chat, I don't know why. I don't want to keep reloading this, though. So, I will just maybe make one more and then just have him drink it. From my experience, putting a potion on the ground and hitting it has better results than throwing it. You know what? Just for the sake of science, I'm going to test what Yin Sanity just said. I will try that out. Again, though, if you have to drink, like, X milliliters of a potion to heal all your wounds, putting it on the ground and making it explode over the feet of four people doesn't make any sense. But here we are. All right. Top down. 
Uh, let's see. I, alchemy, elixir, resist lightning, craft one. Okay, got it. And... Put it right here. And move the birds. Move, move the birds. Why are they not move? Okay, whatever. Uh, all right. Give up now. You move there. Indolence breeds madness. Actually, I'll move her last because she's Magic. at the weird hitbox. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Charmed, I'm sure. Hey, good looking. This is so tedious. I hope this works. Blackets will be done. I have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. Oh, I was trying to move it closer to her, but see, it just says Lazel, not enough space. Assume Jesus Christ. Assume. Why is her hitbox so big? Oh, like I said, tedious. I can't hit it! Look, it just keeps targeting Lazel. Look, as soon as the mouse gets here, I'm targeting Lazel. Okay, hold on. Can she break it? This is so stupid. Salutations. You're doing great. Yeah, thanks. At least things have stayed interesting. Like I can drop her shape shift, but she's gonna be worse. You know what? Fine. Let's just, you know, make ourselves worse in the next fight because of the targeting. It didn't hit Mucklock. It did not hit the main tank. It hit everyone but him. So we got worse results than earlier because earlier I threw it, hit three people, but didn't lose two shapeshift charges. This time I gave up two shapeshift charges and it still only hit three people. May two potions. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I, I just I hate it as I should have quick saved because I didn't know about this issue. I did this off stream and I was like, oh, this will work. And then I just, uh, you know, moved on. Never wanted the All right, come here. Madness. And come here and come here Action and come reaction. here. Objective noted. No okay, I guess you can't stand on that ice What's thing in the middle. Eager for battle. Are you serious right now? I can't even click to do movement on the square next to her. No, never mind. Some... So, how's y'all's day been? I gotta say, when I've been looking forward to Belgers Gate 3 all day, I forgot about all of this! Look, it's saying this is... I'm just clicking on herself right now. Okay, this is fine. We'll, do, we'll, we'll work with that. Magic. Still alive. So that's progress. Get closer. God. Random free bird. All right, let's try over here. At the ready. My pleasure. I crave blood. There, 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 there. All right, that's as close as they can get. Dude, imagine doing this in multiplayer, and it's like one of the other people is playing Lazel, and you're all just screaming at each other because it's like you're fat. No, you're fat. All right, elixirs. Or is this like I think you can only have one elixir at a time, right? Or is that something else? All right, I'm just gonna quick save right here because this took so long. 
It worked earlier, I swear. The boy who cried for <laughs> Yeah, it did. this doesn't usually happen. Did it not make the potion? Did I not just make the potion? Okay, there. Now it's here. Miss! 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 <sighs> Imagine someone's downstate, you're trying to throw a healing potion to them, and they're like, uh, and they roll out of the way. Miss! You threw it at her, not the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Act 1 again! Do I have to make it again? I don't remember when I saved it. She still dodged it, and she cannot drink potions while she's in that form. Screw it. Alright, we got three of the four of them. And I can't give her a potion without giving up two shapeshifts for the day. Uh, maybe this cutscene will work this time. We had some issues with this cutscene on the last one. Hells. The great worm is nothing but bone and memories. The dragon must be the next one. I am Anso, heart of the gate. Anso wends his the spirit. Answer me, Facey. Why? I'm going come through come the same dialogue options side. I went through uh, last time before the reload. The Emperor's. Bold Duran, your presence has. Anso, it's been too long. The name of friend. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Borderan? Satisfaction. You had it, and now you bring your throne. Alright, this is the last dialogue option, I'm pretty sure. So I'll make another save file here. How far has the great Borderan? Alright, so a couple things. One, I remember a water Myrmidon is going to spawn over here and over here. And the easiest way I know to take care of those is to um, thunder wave it off the cliff. Flackets will be done. Proceeding. Stillness. I want to see if there's more of a cinematic this time. It felt wrong last time. And you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness Bolderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. No, so again, he's just going to... He's just going to snap upright. There we go. Which feels so weird. Alright. So, first person... First thing to hit the boss each turn is going to bait a chain lightning. And the first person to have that opportunity... <laughs> Is going to be the only one that doesn't have lightning resistance. Excellent. Uh, but if I don't... So what I need to do is have her move to the opposite side and bait him to do the lightning breath in the opposite direction. If I don't, then the free birds are going to hit him and they're going to trigger it right on top of us. You know, if you don't land an attack, this doesn't work. 
Awesome. Oh, well, everything's going wrong. Shield. With where it's positioned, I don't know if I can Thunder Wave it off the cliff. Why is it going to special action me there? I'm trying to get closer. This is really odd. <sighs> he doesn't have innate fly. He doesn't have misty step. I wish I could delay his turn. In normal D&D, you could be like, I want to delay my turn until after this guy goes, but I don't think I have that option in this game. Path interrupted. Oh, the dragon's too big. Bro, you are useless. I guess I should have stuck worms in Gale's head so he had the fly power. So the Dryad, the Woodwode, and one free bird just died. That hit Lazel. Muck took a little bit of damage, but he does have the potion. Alright. I'm gonna try to blind it. It worked. Rend Vision. All right, it's blinded for two turns. Back away. Back away more. I guess I could have done a second Rend Vision, but I didn't realize it. All right. Max level Moonbeam that I can, 11, ugh. Down the hatch. Oh, I didn't see that that one was there. It hit a free bird, that's awesome, actually. It's gonna change positions. Oh, it knocked one of its own Myrmidons back a bit. All right. All right, we're gonna fly over here. She went right through the Moonbeam instead of going around it, despite having the movement. We're gonna warp to the other side. And we're going to try to bait him to do his lightning in this direction. No? 
Does it have to be an attack to trigger it? Hmm. All right, so we got Gale here. I right, jump here. Thunder wave. All right, I'm gonna quick say, I'm not sure if I'm gonna save scum this or not. All right, that one's gone. One enemy down. Quick save again. <laughs> Oh, so scummy. Alright, that one's done. Let's see what what special arrows we got. Bolts of celestial light. Okay. I need this to not interfere with Carlock. Now, the big thing I'm worried about right now is when he does the Kamehameha on the whole room. I do not know. We, we still do not have an answer for that. We still do not have an answer for that move. Fuck yes. She say F yes? Yeah, she does. The only time I've had someone survive that is when they've got all the way out of the room. But it's it's tricky because sometimes the dragon does it from over there. Moonfire doing 28, nice. No longer in the moonbeam. Slam critical miss on Muck, very nice. Alright, fly... let's do here. Again? I, I swear Lazel aims for the moonbeams. Holy crap. This... even if we bait a breath, it might hit Gale, but he drank the potion, so... Eight, miss, miss, and immune. Awesome. Uh, let's do a Lunar Mend. How do I turn off this annoying window about they telling me about the Twitch integration? I have seen this stream many times every time I close it. It should just be once per stream, Brands. Is it coming up more often than that? Like, if it's being annoying, I'll turn the thing off. But I hadn't heard that it was. Double checking the immunities. Uh, no lightning, no poison. Hmm, we broke one of the rocks. Summon the free birds again. I want to keep it back here. This be fire, baby. It'll help. Moonbeam. She'd have to get way too close for that. So I'm actually just going to drop that and then back up again. Gather. Alright, this is the move that we have tried multiple things. We have tried... Getting behind the crystals. We've tried jumping over to this other island. We have tried running down here. We've tried putting on this magical helmet. We have tried running over here. 
And we've tried getting directly under him. I honestly didn't think that one was ever going to work. And we have tried running out of the room. The only time anyone did not get hit by this move is they were here. That's the only time. So, now we do have lightning resist potion this this time. This time. Uh, let's see. Elemental warp. Fly here. How about shattering the crystals? Uh, breaking the crystals. Um, the boss, the, the first time the boss does this, it'll break every crystal in the room. And the boss continues to do it after this more times. So I, I, that doesn't seem to be the answer either. But if you break a crystal with a melee attack, I think you get like a resistance buff for like one turn. But the boss breaks every crystal in the room, so that doesn't help you on the subsequent booms. Um, yeah, we can dash most of the way. Now, Muck is going to stay in there. Muck has... We, we found something really cheap out last time. So Muck's got a Ring of Regeneration. Every time he gets knocked down state, as long as he doesn't take three hits before his next turn, the Ring of Regen revives him. <laughs> so he actually fought alone one-on-one -on -one versus the dragon, just getting knocked down every single turn for like ten turns. It's just like, I didn't hear no bell. Muck, I can tell you how I avoided it, but you can't do what I did. Okay, sure, go ahead and tell me. <laughs> Alright, so I need to make sure that he doesn't get knocked off the edge of the arena. So we're going to adjust his where he's standing so that the angle doesn't knock him off. Make all your characters druid shapeshift just before it goes off. Uh, actually, yeah, I mean, the shapeshift bonus hit points do help. But, yeah. Go on. Oh, that's not good. We'd... Well, shoot. Carlock's the number one person I did want to get out of range because um, she's maintaining concentration on our highest damage source, which is the up the up leveled moonbeam. If you go to zero on shape shift, knocks you out shape shift, and do whatever hit point you have, well, of course you. Yeah. Well, the this there's spillover, right? So I think if you. If, you, if you're in a, a shapeshift that has 50 hit points and you take 51 damage, I think it does the 50 hit points to the shapeshift, then one to your other bar. So there there is overflow, I'm pretty sure. All right, absorb elements once per short rest can take half the damage of an elemental attack. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Did we, do we still have the moonbeam? I think we lost it. Not enough movement. Dang. Yeah, I didn't have them close enough up there. Alright, let's do um, fly here. Healing vapors. Ready for another round. Wait, what? Oh, we already passed our turn. Uh... Do you have a scroll for glow 